Hello friends, welcome back to the getting yourself organized uh, with org mode screencast. Today's snippet, episode 2, snippet 5 is about archiving. Yesterday I received a comment from Kevin that said, yeah, I tried this uh, org mode thing out and it's nice, but uh, at the end I end up with a lot of done tasks in my file and how do I get rid of them? That's a very good question. I hope we have very good answers. The first and easiest answer could be, okay, just delete that entry. But uh, you remember our consulting job thing with the nice logbook, what we experienced. It would be a shame if we throw that uh, simply away. And your archive could be uh, a really like a library of your life experience. So we should uh, file them in another file. For that, you define a line uh, that says hashtag plus archive uh, colon and then a file name and then two columns and this practically says everything that I'm archiving from this file should go in a file that is called myarchive.org. That's a global archive definition and we can try that out. You see it, we have a entry here with some drawers there is also a logbook entry and we want to archive that one and that one you can do with control c control x and control a so let me press that control c control x control a and now you see this thing is gone and here we have subtree archived in file myarchive.org okay so let's have a look at this file we save that one and we open myarchive.org and here you see a new file that says archived entries from my file uh, Joe from home Joe my life org that was the file where we just were and here you see a properties drawer that was created by the archiving process and it says clearly archive time today is the 17th of June 2016 Friday and it's 11.36 and I archived that thing from this file under the old path was example and the file name was mylife.org and the to do thing was done so here we have recorded a timestamp and everything that is useful to know where this archive entry came from and of course we see the complete entry with the logbook and every drawer and so on so let's switch back to the mylife.org file we are here now let's this was archiving an entry or practically a subtree now I, I show you archiving a subtree could be also like that you see my bicycle repair job I got the delivery of the spare part and I have mounted it so this project is done I could say control C control D that's done now I have everything done and now I could press control C, Control X and Control S to archive the complete subtree. You see, it's gone. Let's save that again and let's switch to the archive buffer. And now you see we have that uh, archived subtree again with the properties uh, drawer that says this subtree was archived on that date came from the old pay uh, maintenance state was done and so on so you see we, we just add to our archive file the good thing is uh, at the end you will have an archive file that is big and that uh, is practically a memory of everything of every task that you completed and you can search that. It's, it's all plain text. It's uh, easy to search with uh, common tools. And if you remember a bit of what you have written that time when you did such a task the last time, you will find it. Okay, there is a third thing about archiving. You could also press your, put your cursor on a headline and then you could say, okay, let's see down under that headline uh, what do we have? What could be archived? What is uh, considered to be done? And we can move it out of the way. And in that case, you prefix the uh, archive subtree command with a control U. So you press control U, control C, control X, control S. 
And now you see the cursor move to that line. That says another one for the archive and it's asking me should I put this subtree in the archive because below there there are no open to do items. And I say yes. So this one is gone. And I'm here on the next done subtree. Shall I move that also? Yes, I do that. And we are here. So you see from my tree that I had before, it was just going down and into the subtree of examples and looking for done tasks and always asking shall I move it to the archive or not. And if I say yes, it's moving it to the archive. So now we have a clean uh, mylife.org file. And if we switch to the archive buffer, you see every item that we were asked, shall I put it in the archive, is here. So we can collapse that as well. It's it's an org mode file like, like before here, but now it's all uh, about done entries and you can search it. I mean, it, it's, it's really uh, a memory, a long time memory of what you did in your job or in your life. So that's all for today. Thanks for listening. And I hope you enjoy this uh, series. I will think about the next uh, episode with a bit more going into deep of uh, org mode. And yeah, maybe I can't hold the pace of doing one snippet uh, per day because next week I have a lot of meetings. So uh, stay tuned and uh, thanks again for listening and thanks for all the comments and all the people that are subscribing to my YouTube channel that's really motivating to go on and doing this. Thank you.